Alrighty guys, welcome back. Today we're currently back out here on Forza Horizon 5 today and do have a brand new money glitch to go ahead and hop straight into and share with you guys here today. Now with today's money glitch, you guys should be making a few hundred thousand credits as well as anywhere from 60 to 80,000 XP. It does depend. The money glitch itself does not take a long time at all, so you can get it done in a very short amount of time and get your rewards. And by the end of it, you'll also be gaining a few wheel spins as well. So we're going to go ahead and hop straight into this. I hope you guys do enjoy and find this video helpful. Remember, if you guys do, leave a like as well as subscribe and turn on post notifications to stay up to date with more. And remember, guys, there's a link to my Discord server down below in the description. You guys can feel free to check that out and join it if you would like, as well as check out all the new merch I went ahead and dropped. It's also linked down below. And there's also links to my social medias down below as well. Go ahead and feel free to give those a follow if you'd like. But now with all that out of the way, we're going to go ahead and hop straight into this, and I hope you guys enjoy. But before we hop straight into today's money glitch, if you guys don't want to sit around for hours grinding out these money glitches, then you can head on over to MitchCactus.com and check out some of their instant delivery mod accounts, which can be applied to a personal account of yours, or you can just purchase a standalone credits and spin pack. They are by far the most highly reputable modders with 5,000 plus verified reviews on their official Trustpilot page. They offer packages for Xbox, PC, and Steam, ranging between 50 million to 999 million credits accounts. There will be a link in the pinned comment below as well as in the description. And be sure to use code DRAGSTER for 5% off your purchase. And now with all that out of the way, let's hop straight into today's money glitch, and I hope you guys enjoy. So hopping straight into step number one of today's money glitch, we're going to need a specific vehicle. Now that vehicle is going to be a pretty cheap car, and most of you guys will probably already have it. It's going to be the 2014 Local Motors Rally Fighter, and you're going to want to keep it stock. You want it to be a rear-wheel drive model. But as you guys can see, this car right here only is going to cost you 100,000 credits, so not bad at all. So once you have obtained one of these cars, the next thing you're going to want to do is is go into your pause menu here, scroll over into cars, go down into your car mastery, and pretty much make it look exactly like this. Since you're going to want to buy out everything except for this one right here because that one doesn't really matter and it costs 25 points. But anyhow, you're going to want to make sure you have just about all these bought out. That way you can maximize your rewards from this. So once you're done in the car mastery, what we're going to do is make our way into the creative hub and then we're going to select the event lab. Then from there, we're going to select the event blueprints. And then this is the blueprint we're going to be looking for here today. As you guys can see, it says 528,000 plus credits as well as 96,000 plus XP and three wheel spins. And the share code is going to be 101730837. So once you've gone ahead and located one of the, or this blueprint right here, excuse me, we're going to go ahead and enter a solo race event for it. And of course, we're going to select our 2014 Local Motors Rally Fighter. So now from here, once loaded in to the race event, what we're going to do is make our way into the difficulty and settings. And then we're going to select our difficulty settings here and pretty much just copy down what's up on the screen. Essentially, by doing this, you guys will be getting a plus 100% difficulty bonus credits. That way, you will be pretty much uh, maximizing your rewards from today's money glitch. So once you have all these copied down, you're good to go ahead and exit out of that and then just start the race event now you guys will notice from here the race events only going to take you under a minute you're not even going to be in this race event for a minute so pretty much what we're going to do once the race event starts is drive through the first checkpoint and then we're going to make our way on up here to the second checkpoint then begin to take a right now what we're going to do is drive right by this plane here and then we're going to take a wide right turn right over here over towards these tunnels we're going to go ahead and push in this container, and as soon as we enter the tunnel, we're going to go ahead and hold our handbrake. So as you guys can see on the screen, it'll say money and XP mode activated once you enter the tunnel. And you're just going to sit here for about 10 to 15 seconds holding your handbrake. Your car is going to bug out for a little bit, and then pretty much the race event is going to complete, and you're going to get all your rewards. And now just like that, about 10 seconds later, the event is going to complete and it's time to get all of our rewards. So from this, I did get just just short of 50,000 XP. I'm just going to go ahead and call it 50,000 XP. And then the wheel spin at the end is going to get me a nice little car here, which I'm going to go ahead and sell for 75,000 credits. So as you guys can see, we got 50,000 XP and then we're going to get 270,000 credits. So just short of... 300,000 credits and uh, which actually technically because I got an extra 75,000 credits on top we did break over 300,000 credits from that in under a minute as well as the nice little 50,000 XP which is good for I think it leveled me up about three times two or three times so not bad at all but really what makes this money glitch so good is uh, the car you're gonna need for it is overall pretty cheap only 100,000 credits and most of you guys probably have unlocked it from wheel spins in the past or something 
And then the race event itself does not take long at all for the rewards you do get out of it. So pretty much it, once you rinse and repeat this over and over for a little while, you will definitely notice a difference in not only your level, but also the amount of money you have. And the wheel spin at the end is pretty nice as well. So that's going to wrap it up for today's money glitch and today's video. But before I do go ahead and end off today's video for good, I am going to go ahead and share the verse of the day today. All right. So it's just something I do at the end of most of my videos. So I'm going to go and do it today. So today's verse of the day is 1 Corinthians 10. 1031. This is going to be the NIV version. So whenever you eat or drink or whatever you do, do it all for the glory of God. Now, I really like that verse because it is just short and sweet and simple. All right. Now, really, the message out of the, uh, the very short Bible verse here is going to be do it all for the glory of God. Really, anything we do in our life, uh, do it for the glory of God. All right. Now, I know not everybody, and I know I struggle with this sometimes too, you know, maybe you get uh, too caught up in the moment. You know, something good happens, you get, you're really excited because, you know, something really good happened, but then sometimes we forget to praise the Lord about it, you know, because why did it happen? God blessed us with the thing that whatever happened, you know. So pretty much not only is it saying to praise the Lord, that's uh, what I got out of it, but pretty much it says, do it all for the glory of God. So that's what that's what I got from the end of this Bible verse, okay? So it says, so whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do it all for the glory of God. Pretty much anything you do in your life is that simple. Do it for the glory of God, because honestly, if it wasn't for God, none of us would be here. And uh, that's also why I like sharing Bible verses at the end of my videos. For those of you that didn't know yet, it's because how I view this YouTube channel and everything, even though, you know, the views have been down a little bit lately, but I've still been cranking out some YouTube videos here and there. I still have a community at the end of the day and a fan base. I'm still getting some views, even though it's not a lot. I'm still getting, you know, some comments, even though it's not a lot. But you see, I still have to thank the Lord for it because he blessed me with you guys and my platform to get on here and make YouTube videos every day. So pretty much even with me making my YouTube videos at the end of the day, it says, do it all for the glory of God. That's what I got from that Bible verse. I hope you guys understood that message right there. So that's pretty much what I'm going to end off with. And anything you do, do it all for the glory of God because God has a lot of glory, let me tell you. <laughs> but anyways, that's the message for today. That was uh, 1 Corinthians 10.31, the NIV version. Hope you guys got something from that. It's just a little something I like to do, sharing about verse at the end of the video. And shout out to everybody that did stay till the end of the video. Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed, guys. Subscribe if you're new and you haven't already. Turn on post notifications to stay up to date with more. And now with that, that's going to wrap it up for today's video. Thanks for watching. And with that, I'll catch you guys very, very soon in the next one. Perfect.